happens when we view a comic strip taken from a newspaper through the dissecting microscope. When you observe the comic strip with the naked eye, the colors and shapes appear to be solid. When you observe the comic strip with the dissecting microscope, it becomes clear that the colors and shapes are actually made up of tiny dots with white space between them. This phenomenon is called resolution. The resolution of an optical microscope is defined as the shortest distance between two points on a specimen that can still be distinguished by the observer or camera system as separate entities. Field of view. Let's see what would happen if you looked at this slide of the lowercase letter e under the compound microscope. With the naked eye, you should see the entire letter E in its correct orientation like this. Let's compare this with what we see under the microscope using the 4x objective. Under the low magnification of 4x, you will be able to see all of the letter E. The entire letter E is in the field of view. However, your E will be upside down like this. As you increase in magnification, your field of view will be getting smaller. Eventually, you will get to the point where you can only see a portion of your letter E. For example, under the 40x objective, you will only be able to see about this much of your letter E. objects appear dimmer in smaller fields of view. You may notice you need more light as you increase in magnification. This is because as the field of view gets smaller, less light is reaching your eye. Depth of field. Depth of field refers to how much of the specimen is in focus. The depth of field decreases with increasing resolution and increasing magnification. When this slide is viewed at low power, it is difficult to distinguish which thread is on top. This is because lower magnification has a longer depth of field and each thread appears to be in focus. However, when this same slide is viewed at high power, you can focus on each thread individually. This allows you to distinguish the order of the threads on the slide. Let's review. Today we learned about the basic components of the dissecting and compound microscopes. We learned which types of microscopes are best for viewing specific types of specimens. We learned how to calculate the magnification power of the compound microscope. And we learned about the concepts of field of view, depth of field, and resolution. Thank you for watching.